space, nothing, nothing can escape their gravitational pull, not even light. Black holes are one of the most intriguing features of the universe. Well, astronomers recently found a supermassive black hole that has forced physicists to rethink their theories. I discussed the discovery with Dr Carl and Geraint Lewis, Professor of Astrophysics at the University of Sydney. It's a really big thing, this black hole. Millions of times the mass of our sun. Secondly, it's relatively close, only 50 million light years away, whereas the edge to the universe is, what, 43 billion. And thirdly, it's a galaxy that's 300 light years across. That, that is not a galaxy. It's great. Help me on this one. It's a very small galaxy. It's microscopic. It, it, most galaxies in the universe are much smaller than our own Milky Way. They're dwarf galaxies, so they've only got a few hundred million stars in them compared to the 400 billion in our own Milky Way. And, and how far, oh. what's the diameter of our Milky Way? Uh, it's 100,000 light years across, if you remember your Monty Python songs. Yeah. Right? Uh, so it, it's, it's a relatively big galaxy, but even in our local patch of the universe, there are another hundred tiny galaxies, these little dwarf galaxies. OK, this particular dwarf galaxy, as you say, ours is 100,000 light years across, this one just 300. Yes. But the, the black hole in the middle of this galaxy is huge. Now, what does this tell you about, uh, about this particular galaxy and that black hole? It's a little bit of a mystery. Um, what we've seen in big galaxies, like our own Milky Way galaxy, that they have black holes in the centre. And our Milky Way has a black hole of around... So, sorry, let's back yeah. up there. Does every galaxy have a black hole? Depends who you talk to. All the, all the big galaxies we've looked at, they do have black holes. And some of them are enormous, a billion times the mass of the Sun. And is that why, why a galaxy forms? It's spinning around a black hole because it's drawing the, the oh. gravitational force, is, is pulling everything around. Well, uh, the Milky Way's black hole is 20 million times the mass of the Sun, but the mass of our galaxy is actually billions of times of that. So the black hole itself is a small part of the galaxy, but it's thought to be implicitly related to the way the galaxy grew over time. Mass was funneled in and that helped the black hole to grow. So is that top down or bottom up? Which came first, the black hole or the galaxy? We're not quite sure. <laughs> so it's a, big, gotcha. it's, it's, a, it, it's a big question about how you can form these massive black holes because we see them in the very early universe. In fact, we see black holes of a billion solar masses in the early universe. And the question is how you form them. And we are still trying to work that question out. So let's look at this uh, supermassive black hole in this relatively small galaxy. Is it sucking in this gal is it, the reason it's a dwarf is because it's actually sucking in the stars ah. and it's getting bigger while the galaxy gets smaller um, ah. not quite the, st the stars in the dwarf galaxy are orbited the black hole which is how they discovered that the black hole is there uh, black holes don't really act like vacuum cleaners sucking up everything that comes uh, it comes across their path, uh, but their gravitational field does influence the way the stars move. So it's sitting there at the centre, and the question is, why does this small galaxy have such a big black hole? And one of the answers might be it was originally a bigger galaxy, and it's been through a violent uh, interaction. It's lost lots of its stars, and all that's left is a little remnant of stars and this black hole. Or something else in its formation, something violent happened that doesn't happen in other small galaxies that means that that black hole grew very quickly. How big is the mass of the biggest black hole when it is formed? Again, it's a good question uh, because yeah. it, it depends on what stars were like in the very early universe and it's very hard to understand those stars because unlike our Sun, which is hydrogen and helium and a few other elements like carbon, oxygen, etc. Mm -hmm. These first stars were hydrogen and helium essentially and they burn differently to stars like the Sun. So they can burn, they can form, they can be very large then they can collapse and die and form massive supernova, uh, massive black holes. When you say massive, you mean like 10 times the mass of our sun or 100, not a million. Not a million, how, not a billion. How, how do you get from 10, and how big is this one? This one's 4 million times. How do you get from 10 to 4 million? Do you suck in other stars and That's, eat them? Uh, it, probably some stars, but also gas. It's easier to eat gas than it is to eat stars because gas yeah. can swirl around and get deposited in the middle. We should actually go back to the definition of a black hole. So essentially we're talking about something that has an incredible mass but no volume. Yes. That hurts my head. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't know exactly how they're formed or we do? They must be formed um, basically through the collapse of giant stars. That's the only real mechanism we have in the universe to form black holes. And nothing escapes. Certainly light doesn't escape. Yes. Nothing physical escapes. Once, once it's completely collapsed, then its gravitational field is so strong that nothing escapes. So they're completely collapsed objects. Yeah. Look at our own sun. 
when that eventually dies and perhaps collapses, does that mean it could become a black hole? No, it's too small. It's, oh. uh, it's, it's, a, it's a little star. <laughs> so, um, you need to be a, a giant star to collapse to give a black hole. Our, our sun is going to have a semi-graceful exit in that it's going to blow off its outer layers and there'll be a, a, a hot white core left over. So, Bit of a damp squib, really, at the end. Uh, yes, but it does give us a few billion years. Big stars burn fast and die very young, so um, it's uh -huh. good for life that it's taking its time. Doctor and Professor, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.